Now, our third question. It may be somewhat lengthy. Carefully, we have to do that one. Let n be a positive integer such that 1 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 1000. Let mn be the number of integers in the set xn where xn is root over 4 n plus 1 comma root over 4 n plus 2 comma and so on root over 4 n plus 1000. A is the maximum of all mn's, b is the minimum of all n -n mn's, then we have to find a minus b, that is the question. Here you see xn set defined, n values are 1 to 1000. So, x1, x2, x3 and so on, x1000, 1000 sets are there. And mn is the number of integers in each set. So, m1, m2, m3 and so on, m1000. So, x sets are 1000 and number of integers in that uh, sets are 1000. Now, out of these m1, m2 and so on, m1000, maximum is a and minimum is b and we have to find a minus b. So, we have to find a b values then we can find a minus b. Now, you see x1 I will write first x1 equal to root 5 root 6 root 5 means how it came 4 into 1 4 plus 1 4 into 1 4 plus 2 root 7 like that consecutive numbers roots will go at last, uh, 1004 uh, will come. This is x1. How many elements are there? 1000 elements are there. Out of these all not integers. Some numbers may be integers. Some elements may be integers. How many, how many integers are there? Root 5 is not integer. Root 6 is not integer. Root 7 is not integer. Root 8 is not integer root 9, root 9 is nothing but 3, that is integer, means root of perfect square only the integer. So, how many integers are there means you have to find the number of perfect squares between 5 to 1004. So, number of perfect squares between 5 to 1004. Uh, now, after 5, 9 only perfect square. 16 and uh, 25 and so on the last perfect square before 1004 that we can calculate if you guess it is no problem otherwise you do like this um, 3 3 is a 9 1 I think 91 so 31 square is the last perfect square. So, 31 square will come. This is 3 square, this is 4 square, this is 5 square, this is 31 square. How many numbers are these? 31 minus 3 plus 1 that is uh, 28 plus 29. So, in x1 set 29 integers are there. So, here what is mn? mn is the number of integers in xn. So, m1 is the number of integers in x1. So, m1 is 29. Okay. Okay. Now, we got m1 equal to 29. What you are thinking about m2? m2 means number of integers in x2. x2 means x2 start with uh, what is that? Nine, root 9 root 10, root 11 and so on it will go. Now, m2 means number of integers in x2. First only I told in the properties of perfect squares, the density of the perfect squares at the starting very high and if you go on, then the density will be very less. So, in m2, you do not get uh, more than 29. It may be less than or equal to 29 m3 it is less than or equal to m2 like that if you observe that m1 is less than or equal to m2 is less than or equal to m3 is less than or equal to and so on less than or equal to m1000 so 
this m1 will be a and m1000 will be b. Now, a is 29 already we have calculated, b we have to calculate now. How to calculate b? Same way how you have calculated in x1, same way we will uh, calculate in x1000. x1000 I will write. X thousand, X thousand is n value thousand now four thousand one, four thousand two. Here also thousand numbers will be there, and so on. Finally, this is five thousand. Now, how many integers are there? How many integers means how many Fairford squares in that root are there? We have to see that. Now, I will find for 4001 the square root. Here, uh, 6636, 401, here 12. Uh, I think it is uh, 4 means uh, 496 will come 3. 3, uh, it is 9, 6, 3, something. So, 63 square is less than 4001. So, we want next for Fairfax square. So, 64 square. So, 64 square under root, next Fairfax square, next Fairfax square, 65 square and 60, like that it will go. Where we have to stop, we, we will check. How we have started with 64 square, like that only we will see that for 5000. 5000 also you find the square root. 7, 7, 49, 8, 8, 64, that's why. Here 1, 0, 0, here 14, uh, here how much it is, even 1 also not possible, correct? So, 70 square. 7 we have to take under root. This is the last perfect square. So, this is an integer 64, 65, 66. Just you count like that how many will come. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 77. So, how many integers are there? 7 integers are there. So, m1000 is 7. That is the least number. And what is the greatest number? 29 came in first set. So, this is B and A is 29, B is 7. Therefore, we have to find A minus B. A minus B equal to 29 minus 7. So, your answer will be 22.